We created this resource because we want to see a positive change in mental health support in schools, especially after the pandemic where young people are struggling even more with their mental health. We felt it was important to create a resource by young people for young people. This is why we spoke to charities like Wired and Dorset Mind to make sure the cards were as authentic and credible as possible. After 18 months of work, we're ready to release the resource into schools, which will go hand in hand with teacher training. We want to stress that these cards shouldn't just be another thing left in the back of a classroom cupboard. We believe that if used in the right way, they can really benefit a range of year groups from seven to 13. So I'm delighted to be able to introduce the uh, POP Cards to you. The POP Cards is an initiative from uh, young people and members of the Youth Parliament on the back of thinking about responses for uh, mental health on, and it isn't just driven by the pandemic. This work was being uh, undertaken before we had lockdown. They are inspiring for two reasons. One, because they are completely initiated by young people. So young people know how they want to be communicated with, how they want to communicate with teachers and adults, and they've been designed exactly through that lens. But also that the um, environment in which they're going to be used, which is schools primarily, has, also, has been receptive to, to them being uh, offered. So it's, it's a real um, success story in terms of innovation, taking something that is led by young people and children and the school environment and the head teachers particularly, which I want to say thank you to, working with our young people to be able to mobilise them. They will have a significant impact uh, for young people that might be struggling in a classroom and not sure about how to articulate that other than ended up in sometimes a very distressing um, position. These cards have been designed uh, to, to alleviate that and I'm delighted that I've been part of that um, for the young people and I hope this is the first of many projects. Ten percent of young people have a diagnosable mental illness. Nearly one in three young people aged 13 to 18 will experience an anxiety disorder. About 20% of all young people will suffer from depression before they reach adulthood. Six in ten children with ADHD have at least one other mental or behavioural issue. A panic attack will usually peak within 10 minutes but symptoms will last much longer. Do make sure teachers understand how to use these cards. Don't just leave them at the back of the classroom. Do make sure that they are seen. Do have the cards available and use them frequently. Remind people that they are there. Do make sure students know how to use the cards and make sure they are not ignored in the lessons. Do ensure that the cards are readily available and can be used frequently. Don't make a big deal out of it when someone wants to use the cards, as this may make them feel insecure or uncomfortable. Do make sure teachers understand how to use the cards. Don't ignore what students are saying. Make an effort to make sure they're right.